we have a notebook that has been updated with the USB power delivery silicon, okay? And we have a docking station that's also been updated with the USB power delivery silicon. So in here you can actually see the USB power delivery FPGA, okay? So what we're doing is the only power is coming into this dock. And what we're doing is we have a USB connection. It's the only thing connected here. One cable USB. So we're able to have this PC drive the video, audio video data, and also receive power from the dock all over a USB cable. So here you can see it's drawing the charge. Now I'm gonna unplug it. We're gonna lose the video, the charge will go away, and then we'll bring it back again. So here you can see now it's drawing off the battery, the internal battery. We lost the video. Now we're gonna bring it back. Okay, now here you can see it's charging again. Okay, and I'm gonna move the video over. Audio, video, data, command and control, and power, bi-directional, all over a single cable. So what this means is in the future, you won't have custom power uh, connectors, custom power bricks by manufacturer. You'll just have a standard USB power brick and a USB a power delivery connector. Like in Europe, all the phones, cell phones now charge over micro USB. That same concept will now apply to larger devices. We can deliver up to 100 watts of power over USB power delivery.